Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to my every single Star Wars set that I own 2021 edition. Even though I've only been collecting since 2013, I've only bought a few sets each year and therefore my collection is not extremely big. Behind my open collection, you can see that there are three box sets. We have the Mandalorian Battle Pack, the Sith TIE Fighter, and we have the Buildable Yoda character. Starting at the left, this is the 2013 Headhunter. This was actually my biggest set that I had ever received, until 2015 when my Quinjet became my biggest set. To the left of the ship, we have a battle pack from the Han Solo movie, and to the right of the ship, we have Luke's hut. Behind it, we have the towering Kylo Ren shuttle from Episode 9. This has to be my favourite sequel trilogy set. And right next to it, we have the Porg. Continuing on, we have Dio and Yoda, which still has to be built. I really like the buildable figure collection that LEGO has come out with, and they are amazing display pieces. Advancing to the front, we have this 2013 Walker from the Clone Wars Imbaran arc. Over here is probably one of my most recent sets that I have received. It is this, it is the OG Clone Trooper Walker um, from like, I can't actually even remember the year. It was a long, long time back that I got it, but my friend actually sent it to me and I of course paid him for it and I just love it. It's a really, really nice um, thing to have, especially from this theme that has been going on for 20 plus years. Alright, so moving to the right, we have the Anakin vs Obi-Wan dual set, which I think is the newest Star Wars set that I own, if I'm not mistaken. Like, in, like, plus this um, battle pack, I'm pretty sure. It's a cool set, and it's pretty displayable, but sadly, I keep all my minifigures in these um, acrylic shelves, because I don't want them to catch dust, which is why um, all of these play sets don't look as lively as they should. I used to display my minifigures in these play sets, but now um, I just can't deal with the dust, and therefore all of the minifigures are left in those acrylic display shelves. Moving to the front, we get 2017's Darth Vader Transformation Set. This was my actual first set which I received Darth Vader and Emperor Palpatine, and that's the entire reason I wanted to set the set. Uh, right next to it, we actually have a micro fighter from, I actually cannot remember, I think I got this as a present from back in the day. And right next to the transformation set, we have three of the Sith Trooper vs Republic Trooper battle packs. I am pretty sure this was my first ever LEGO Star Wars set that I have bought, and therefore it's just one of my favourite Star Wars sets of all time. Right behind them, we have a very modified Han Solo Carbonite Freezing Chamber set from, I'm pretty sure, 2016 or 2017. This is actually such a great set, and um, I love the minifigures that come with it. Behind that, we have General Grievous's Speeder Bike. Again, it has also been modified, like this set, as I have um, maybe or maybe not have, um, you know, taken it apart, and I regret that decision every day. Behind that is probably LEGO's best minifigure scale TIE Fighter, not including the UCS TIE Fighter. This um, TIE from Han Solo, the movie, it was done so, so well, and I got it for such a great deal. It was actually $60, I'm pretty sure, where it retailed for $100 here in Australia. So I'm really glad that I got a discount like that. Moving further along, we have uh, two more battle pack builds, one from the Praetorian Guards battle pack and another from the First Order um, Executioner Trooper battle pack, I'm pretty sure. Uh, this is actually a pretty decent build, I actually really, really love that build. Um, right here at the front, we have this uh, modified Imperial Star Destroyer Microfighter build. Yeah, even I take, took this down and I regret it every day. And over here, the final few sets on the table itself is this uh, Night Speeder, which I did a review on, so go check it out. I love the minifigures that come with the set, but this set is just ugly, just really ugly. In contrast to that, we've got Anakin's Jedi Starfighter from 2014, which is also, I also did a review on it, and it's a beautiful set. And finally, on top of these minifigure display cases, we have four Droidicas. Uh, an X-Wing microfighter, and this is a custom microfighter of a Republic gunship, which uses that 2017 Republic gun, uh, that Jedi and Clone Trooper battle pack, along with a few of my other spare pieces. 
Um, I'm probably gonna end up taking this down, so I might do a separate video on it, so uh, stay tuned for that. And finally, how can I forget my only Darth Maul figure, even though it's a clock? Um, someone actually gave this for my birthday to me, and it's a pretty decent thing. I just leave it on my Star Wars shelf. I don't actually use it as a clock because for some reason it goes ahead of time. Like, I'm not sure how that happens, but um, right now it's 12.20, I'm pretty sure, but the clock says it's 12.29. I think most analog, uh, most battery clocks actually do this. So surprisingly, the sets actually took literally no time to film. So I decided, you know, let's screw it. We're just going to put all the minifigures in this video. So I'm just going to go over every single Star Wars minifigure I own. So starting at the front, we have my Anakin and Obi-Wan collection. Um, it's not actually all of them because we have two more figures that are at the other side of this little place, like over there. Um, but we have one of the Obi-Wans which are from the General Grievous' speeder. We got the 2014 Jedi Interceptor Anakin. Uh, this is a Clone Wars Obi-Wan and a Clone Wars Anakin from different sets that I own. Actually, my cousin gave me the Clone Wars Obi-Wan and this Anakin was from the Night Speeder. The annoying thing about this shelf is that you can't really see the figures at the back, so I have to do something about elevating the figures at the back so you can actually see some of their torsos and face prints. Anyways, let's just move on to Pong Krell, which is an amazing minifigure, one of my favourite Jedi minifigure. And over here, my one and only Ahsoka Tono minifigure. This is from the Season 5 set. Um, is it Season 5? I can't remember. It's from the Imburan arc, and there is the walker that we discussed earlier. Over here, we have um, Rey and Luke from the Jedi Hut set from Episode 8. Over here, we have some of the high-ranking Separatists, such as Grievous, Venturous, Savage, Opress, and actually Moff Gideon doesn't count. But yeah, those are three amazing figures, and I'm so glad to have these characters in my collection. And yes, I have the custom Firestar Toys Moff Gideon minifigure. Hopefully, I can do a review on it soon, but if you do want to buy this, um, go to Firestar Toys and use code MVivid15 for 15% off. Right next to him, we have Boba Fett. He's a really cool minifigure, so I decided to put him in the front. And as I discussed earlier, we have the Anakin vs Obi-Wan Mustafar dual set, which has both Anakin and Obi-Wan. Moving back, we have a few Empire slash First Order minifigures with my only Darth Vader, my only Palpatine, Kylo Ren, and two of my Knights of Ren. Behind them, we have a few First Order officers. Um, I can't, I think that's General Pride, and these are just random officers from different sets that I bought. And to end the second row off, we have basically my Red Troopers collection. We have two Praetorian Guards and my third Praetorian Guard. These are all from the Battle Packs. This is the Sith Trooper from the Kylo Ren Shuttle and two of these, um, I can't remember, Emperor's Royal Guards, which are from that one Royal Guard Battle Pack that my sister had. Finally, we have a few of Han Solo's over here, along with uh, Tobias Beckett from the TIE Fighter, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, these two figures are from the TIE Fighters. And then we have two other Han Solo's. This one's from the Carbon Freezing Chamber, and this one is from that one Star Wars Encyclopedia or something like that. He's exclusive to that encyclopedia because of that medal that you can see on his torso. Right next to him, we have a pilot, which is from my... Uh, the Microfighter X-Wing that I own, and these are two Umbaran um, troopers there at the back, along with two other droids that I own. Finally, just uh, finish off this row, we've got an Ugnaught from the Darth Vader transformation set, we've got, no, not the Darth Vader transformation set, the um, Carbon Freezing Chamber set, and then behind that we have Burnt Up Darth Vader from the Darth Vader transformation set. We have these um, four... Um, the, finally, we have these four, I can't remember what they're called, Commando Druids, I'm pretty sure. And I think that just rounds out basically my entire named minifigure collection. Um, we have to move on to the clones right now, but yeah, these are all basically the named minifigures that I own in my collection. And I hope to get more um, as 2021 passes on. Low-key, this actually looks much cooler than the named minifigure Star Wars characters because look at how cool all of these clothes look just just look it just looks so uniform together so yeah as you can tell this is basically every single clone trooper slash imperial stormtrooper slash da um old republic um trooper slash first order trooper that i own 
Starting off in the front, we have two of the Executioner Troopers from that one battle pack and four um, First Order Stormtroopers. This one, these are two different versions as you can see also on the back. So this, the back version of this is the same as this one. Back version of this is the same version as this one. This just has like a thinner line, a more horizontal, no, no, vertical line and this has a more horizontal line on the helmet. It's just a very slight difference, but it looks, it's pretty cool, I guess. And over here is my one and only story trooper from that one battle pack that I bought in 2017, I'm pretty sure, 2018. As we move on, we have two other clones from that OG clone battle pack, and we have two of these green striped clones. Sorry, I don't actually know the battalions of all of the different clones. Clones? Clones. Over here, we have three different versions of the regular phase one clone troopers. Uh, same thing, um, same deal with these guys. The back versions are the exact same versions as the front versions. So uh, over here, I actually can't remember which one's which. I, I can definitely remember that this one's from the OG battle pack. These two clones over here at the back. Um, I can't remember, I can't tell the difference between these two, but I'm pretty sure this one is the newer one from the Jedi Clone Trooper Battle Pack because it has leg printing and all that. And I think this one ha is from a very old Droidica vs Clone Trooper Battle Pack. Uh, as you can see, like, there, you can definitely tell the differences in the heads. It's, it looks really similar, but you can definitely tell the differences on the heads and the torsos, and especially the legs. Moving higher, we have the custom Firestar Toys Jesse minifigure. Uh, I already did a review on this, so if you want to go check that out, go check that out. And if you do want to buy it, again, like Moff Gideon, use code AMVIVID15 for 15% off Firestar Toys. Behind him, we have Captain Rex. And funny story about this, my cousin actually gave me all his Lego at the start of the year. And for some reason, he had a Captain Rex, and I'm really happy that I was able to get it. However, he didn't come with the helmet, because I'm pretty sure my cousin lost the helmet. And he lost the pauldron pieces and yeah i'm pretty sad about that so i need to get a helmet and pauldron piece replacement but yeah this is my um what's left of captain rex and of course yeah the head is missing as you can tell this is basically my four fiber first trooper collection because this is the 2013 fiber first trooper over here and behind that is the pilot from the arc one not sorry i keep mixing the head hunter with the arc 170 um fighter um, moving on, we have the 212th Clone Trooper, which I'm pretty sure came in that walker with Ahsoka. Um, and behind him, we have Gree from a book that I actually got. These are, I, I sorry, I literally don't know um, the battalion of these troopers, but they have, um, they are basically colored in red. And this is basically one of my favorite clone troopers of all time. It, it just has amazing printing plus all of the different cloth pieces which adds up onto it. It just looks so cool. And yeah, we have the ARF Trooper there at the back. I'm pretty sure this is an ARC Trooper and then behind there, that's an ARF Trooper. And here we have two Senate Commandos, which I'm pretty sure one of my friends gave to me. I traded, with, traded a few um, spare minifigures with them, so he gave me these two. And I'm pretty happy to own these. Um, as we move on, we actually have two of these uh, short troopers. I can't. I actually can't remember the names of these. Um, they were found in the Han Solo movie on. I can't. Corellia. Yeah, these were. Um, they, they're definitely not called Corellian troopers, but these were found in Han Solo, and these are also uh, one of my favorite troopers out of the collection because of the dual molded um, helmets and just the printing overall. And right next to them, we have two of my only regular um imperial stormtroopers they look really nice i don't own the new ones but i definitely wish i had more of these um 2017 2016 ones because these came in the rogue one set um rogue one battle pack right here we have some of my first ever lego star wars minifigures of all time because i'm pretty sure this republic vs sith battle pack was my first ever lego star wars set so i have five of these Minifigures, four of them, um, I got one uh, set, one set of one battle pack and my sister got one battle pack and that's why we have four of them. However, I did end up like two or three years ago, uh, we found like a very, very used battle pack for 50 cents. It was a very like, yeah, sorry. What I'm trying to say is that we found a used battle pack of this for 50 cents and it came with like only 
two or three minifigures, I can't remember. So that's how I got uh, a fifth one. I'm kind of mad because it does not look even because we have this Genosa Strooper here at the back, which I actually don't even remember how I got it. I'm pretty sure I traded with it. Traded with someone to get it. Sorry, my English is not amazing today. As you can tell, we have a Mimban Stormtrooper. I'm pretty sure this is one of my most uh, most expensive ones that I own in my collection. These guys, I think, go for about $60 on Bricklink, Australian dollars. And behind that, we have a Imperial TIE Fighter Pilot. I don't know why I put a TIE Fighter Pilot in here, but I'm pretty sure he actually blends in pretty well. And here are those Sith Troopers from that original Republic vs. Sith Trooper Battle Pack. Again, these are some of my first ever minifigures I've ever owned. Um, some of them have the red um, torso print while the others have the black torso print. And next to them, we also have some of my favorite um, clone trooper slash trooper minifigures of all time, the Death Troopers. They look so nice and just menacing. The helmet mold is just such a beautiful helmet mold, man. They, I just can't get over how cool they are, and I'm so glad that they appeared in Mandalorian Season 1. I've not seen Season 2 yet, so... Um, Hopefully they are in season two. Uh, I'm going to be watching season two soon, so um, I've just been watching Rebels. As we move on, we have the Inferno Squad. Um, I think I gave my Iron Man and a Captain America or a Batman um, to one of my friends, and then they gave me the entire Inferno Squad, and I'm so happy um, that I have these figures because I honestly didn't want to buy the battle pack, but I still wanted the figures, and I'm pretty glad I have all of them. Over here are probably some of my least favorite figures in the collection, besides this girl. I don't actually mind her. She came in the same battle pack as these troopers over here. But the others are um, different uh, like people who control the Death Star. I'm pretty sure these are the Death Star gunners and different workers on the Death Star. But yeah, that's about every single uh, clone trooper and trooper figure that I own. Uh, to date. Hopefully this collection will also increase like my other Star Wars named characters in 2021.